Hello, here is a quick little video um, to show you how you can batch rename assets within a project. So let's say, for example, uh, you have, you know, 100 or even 500 uh, assets that you've gone through and named manually. And then there's something you've missed from them, like uh, a prefix or something. Um, you can basically do that all in one go rather than going through manually to change them. Uh, I'm using my pack that I am actually just about to submit um, to the Fab Store as an example because I'm basically going through the task and had to figure out how to do that because I manually did things and realized I missed something out. So I've currently got my pack um, open and I've got a filter showing all of the static meshes and as you can see they all some of them have the sm underscore prefix um, but basically most of them don't because I was stupid and I forgot to do that um, also if you're not aware of these filters you can come to this area and choose different types of filters and then turn them on and off anyway back to it basically all you need to do is select all of the assets that you want to rename right click and then you look for this batch rename it used to be called like uh, advanced naming or something but now it's called batch rename you open that up and you get this panel batch renamer now there are lots of options like you can search or read uh, search for specific assets within the list and rename them to whatever you want you can remove all prefixes and suffixes um, but in this case, I just want to add a prefix, so it shows you what the old and the new uh, lists are. So for this case, I want to put sm underscore. So you can see that woodbeam underscore 1 will now become sm underscore woodbeam underscore 01. So that's basically it. Uh, there are a few other different options that you can explore, but basically this is the most handy kind of thing. Um, you'll do so then you hit apply and that's it once that's kicked in it will refresh and you now have all of your assets with a prefix or a suffix depending on what you decided to do there you go hope that helps